Hi, I'm Martin Compton. I'm currently starting on Our House on ITV and ITV Hub. Details for Our House are in the description below. And here are my 20 questions with Waitrose. Breakfast this morning was uh, scrambled egg and toast. But what I'm really excited about is getting back to Scotland and getting some square sausage. My wife's American and being over there, they've got these, uh, these breakfast burrito things, which at first terrified me. You know, putting the egg in a wrap in the morning with salsa on it just seemed like utter madness. Um, but the more I've got into it, yeah, I'd actually really like one. So it depends what side of Atlantic I'm on. Square sausage at home, breakfast burrito over stateside. Uh, iron brew, of course. And it just depends what you're in the mood for. You know, I, I do like a good cold cider. Uh, probably when I'm out drinking uh, Maker's Mark and Coke. Or I, I do love a Malbec. I, I, when you're eating, I, as I'm getting older, maybe my palate's developing or whatnot. But a, a really nice red wine is, is unbeatable. Starter every time. I've never been big on desserts to be honest. I don't have much of a sweet tooth but yeah like some a good chicken pakora, lamb chops or you know some prawns or something to start you off. Um, but you've got to be careful as well because sometimes you can go pretty heavy on the starter or on the bread and then by the time your lovely steak gets there you're, you're already full so I'd definitely go starter but just take it easy. Pace yourself. <laughs> Why am I talking like I'm Jeremy Clarkson in a video? <laughs> <laughs> Pie. I think it's the Kelly pie down in Kilmarnock has been voted the number one pie in, in Scotland for sure anyway. Uh, so a mince pie, a mince pie and a bovril, but no bovril at the jar. Like I, I love, it's, it's a bizarre thing that you don't really get bovril anywhere else in the world I don't think, but on a cold, cold winter's night a bovril and a pie is just unbeatable. Oh, my wife, without without doubt. I'm a terrible cook, so my wife really is a, is, is a fantastic cook. I'm very lucky in that aspect. She's getting me into my greens and all that carry on because the way she makes them so flavorful, or sort of, she, she does this thing with mushrooms that she kind of marinates them in teriyaki and stuff. It's, it's top drawer. My cooking style is putting a pizza in the oven and trying to get the timing right. That's about it. It's not something I'm proud of, um, but I've, I've lived on the road pretty much since I was 17, whether it be in hotels and then uh, with friends and all that kind of thing, and eating out quite a lot. Running to the supermarket to get a rotisserie chicken um, was probably my gourmet style cooking. I do a good toasty, um, since you get them toasty pockets now. I do a pretty good toasty, but yeah, I really need to get some work done on it. Chinese, um, but Scottish, Chinese, and maybe bits of Northern Ireland are different to anywhere else in the world. I don't care what anybody says, that the curry sauce there is unbeatable. You know what, it's a very obvious one, but haggis done right is beautiful, but it has to be done right. Um, haggis done wrong is awful, um, but when it's done right, it's a real treat. And I know we have a reputation for deep frying things, but haggis bonbons with a whiskey sauce is, is phenomenal. Tea, all day. I. I had one sip of coffee when I think I was 12 and I've never drank it again. Billy Connolly, for sure, Billy Connolly. I'd met him briefly and I asked him to get a picture of my mum, but my mum's got this terrible habit that she always shuts her eyes when the picture's getting taken. So I've got a picture with these loads of celebs and everyone, she's like that. And I told Billy that and he said, get your phone out. And he said, like, both of us, and me and Billy are like that. And then he said, send that to your mum. Um, so it was, it was a lovely moment. Their fast food is incredible, whether it be something like an in and out Burger or Jersey Mike's where you, got, you get these proper foot-long sandwiches with real steak and real ingredients and somewhere like in and out Burger, you see them cooking the fries in front of you, like taking the salt and up them, chopping them up, all that kind of thing, really fresh ingredients. Um, so their fast food is amazing. I'd probably say pizza because you can get a good pizza anywhere. Well, actually, that's a bit of thing because I'm a bit of a chicken wing fanatic um, or a chicken wing connoisseur as I would probably say but whether that be you know four for a pound out the chicken shop or one for 40 pound out of some fancy place I can go either way so chicken wings is probably by far my favorite food but wherever you are whatever hotel you're in you're always going to get a late night pizza and it's bound to do the job pepperoni classic um, go with that closely followed by tandoori chicken a pepperoni tandoori chicken combo is yeah pretty unbeatable I suppose I can't say chicken wings again, but that's what I'm thinking. I and mean, actually last night here I had some Korean barbecue chicken wings and they were top notch, so I'm going to head straight there. Hmm. De I mean, well, it depends, doesn't it? Because if you're going out to eat and you're going out to eat, I mean, in general, I would say pub and there's nothing wrong with a right good pub meal, but 
No, if I'm going out to eat, I like to go somewhere nice. I do like a good steak, but there's some amazing restaurants in there. So if I'm, I'm making a night of it, no, I definitely want to go somewhere and, and, and get value for money. Medium. Um, kinda, and as I'm getting older, it's getting less and less. Because for years I thought my mum was a terrible cook, but it wasn't, it's just my dad likes terrible food. So everything in our house was burnt to a crisp and overdone. And my poor mum, I, I blamed it all on her till one time I went, somebody made me try a medium steak at a restaurant and then I went home and asked my mum to cook it medium and she made me a beautiful steak so all that blame lies squarely on my dad now but even when I take him to a fancy restaurant now he's got to go burnt mate burnt like to a crisp burnt and you can just see the waiter going what's the point in even ordering the thing <laughs> you know what I haven't had these in years I literally not had them in probably a decade but my son's just turning two and um, he tried fish fingers for the, for the first time and Obviously, you tried the wee bit, it's on the side of his plate, and I forgot how much I loved them, so probably, uh, yeah, I'd be probably craving a fish finger sandwich. Chicken wings, for sure. I mean, and when I say that, I mean a lot of chicken wings. It can just sort of be endless, like, I mean, I de genuinely got like a bucket of like 30. Buffalo sauce, or lemon pepper, crispy, extra crispy lemon pepper with a side of ranch dressing, top notch. Professionally, um, I think just the fact I'm still going, you know, it's the, the 20th anniversary of my first film uh, next week. Um, so the fact I'm still here and people still want to talk to me, I think it's an achievement in itself. I didn't realise Waitrose would be such an insightful interview, but thank you for having me. I absolutely loved it and um, yeah, I'm going to get some chicken wings now.